Hello friends, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Summer break has begun here in my house. So my boys are running around playing. You're gonna hear them in a lot of the videos. I can't really film when they're in school because they're not in school. So um, just wanted to mention that. So this is actually a marketplace video and I have a couple journals from Debbie Scover that I'm really excited to share with you. But I thought that I would also throw in a few used books here that are also in my journal supplies. So I'm gonna do those at the end though in case you came to this video just to see the marketplace journals but if you're interested in some used books that will be available then just stay tuned to the end of this video so debbie has so uh, oh, that is gorgeous washi tape look at how pretty that is i've never seen that one i love it so she sold here on the marketplace before and the junk journal that i am currently using as my personal junk journal was actually made by her so i'm excited to see what she has done here Oh, that is really pretty. Oh my, I love those beads on me. Mm, so pretty, look at that. And on the back, she has her label. I love using textured cardstock. She's got textured cardstock on the back. It's about a half inch spine. It says beautiful. And look at the applique. That is really pretty. This is called Monet. There's a tab there. She has, look at these, little vintage cards, special touches. Looks like there might be book pages from a Monet book. She has like little vintage doilies and vintage things in it. Little, looks like a little vintage jingle bell or bead book pages, fabric flip. Look at that. That is pretty. I love blue in a junk journal. I'm not really sure why, but I just think blue in a junk journal is so pretty. Little ribbon tuck spots. That is nice. Bookmark. So in case any of you all were wondering, I did change my shipping policy back to the buy three, get free shipping. I actually missed that. And um, the buy $50 wasn't really, I don't think it was really working for too many people. And I'd rather have it be useful for everybody. I have also changed the flat rate to $2.99 temporarily, but that is a dollar cheaper than normal. So um, hopefully that double helps you guys out. I wanna make sure that you guys feel comfortable buying from me and that you're not paying too much in shipping. I know that's a deal breaker for me. When I'm in someone's shop, I fill my cart up and then I see the shipping, I cringe and then don't buy it. So if you're like me, I'm trying to prevent that from happening. So um, buy three, get free shipping, and that includes everything in my shop. Look at how pretty that is. Ooh. So that's Monet. These will be found in the marketplace section of my shop. Oh, I think this must have fallen off the journal. There was a tab or something. So I'm just gonna going to tuck it inside. Cute. It says home cooking. It's a cherry card stock. Looks like there's a vintage card with apples on it in the back. Some really pretty green ribbon. If I can, oh, got a kid coming in. There will be more interruptions as well since there's so many little boys home. All right, so this is called home cooking and it is cute. Look at these little vintage cards. Cute. <laughs> this would be so cute for putting recipes in. It would be wonderful as a gift. And, you know, I think as a gift, you could add a couple recipes or maybe even, you know, copy a few of your favorite recipes. These are the most adorable cards. Um, add a few of your favorite recipes in, like write them on recipe cards or index cards and then clip them in a couple places. That way, whoever you gave it to can choose whether, you know, they want to keep the recipe if it's something that they would eat and then they could put in whatever they wanted. Love the touches on this. The bright colors, little scraps of paper, stamping. 
It's cute. Got little, um, in the making of bread, what causes the bread to rise? And then, huh. So that's a, how much would half a dozen dozens biscuits at a dozen nickels per half dozen cost? Just little vintage cards that are so cute. There's another Milkman one. Just such a nice, cute, themed one. It's a dash more than a pinch. Love that. Really pretty kitcheny fabric. <laughs> Garlic dressing. I love how she did a little layering behind that. Pretty cardstock. That is really pretty. So that is home cooking, and I think there's another one in here. Oh, and she sent me some. She either she lost the roll of washi in there, or she gave it to me. So cute little Easter egg washi. Oh my! Look at this. How pretty. So you all know this is Edith Holden. Look at that. That is so pretty. The golden egg book. This is called Bunny. How cute is that? She probably sent this to me before Easter and I just was not able to get it up. I don't remember when I got it. I number them, I put them in order, I get to them when I can, but some days like, some days I get a lot of boxes in, some days I can't film a marketplace video, I have other things that need to be filmed. And so it just happens as it happens, but I think this is great for springtime. This would be cute for a kid. You could save it for next spring, which is probably what I would do. Um, I think it's wonderful to get these, set them aside, and then you have the one you want. Look at that little lace pocket. You can see the egg behind it, and you got a little note paper. I love her little um, bulb pin clips on the fabric tabs. But, oh, look at this. I wonder what these went to, these little vintage cards. She's had one in all the journals, almost like they were her inspiration. She has stenciling. So cute. These book pages are adorable. I love this journal. Look at that. That is so cute. So that one is Bunny. So those are the journals I have, just three of them. Um... And now I'm going to show you these books. I still have a bunch of used books and other supplies and things. I'm a little overwhelmed at the current moment. La yesterday was kindergarten graduation. My uh, five-year-old graduated and I have family coming Memorial Day weekend. We're heading into summer vacation, all sorts of stuff going on. I'm trying to still get stuff done. Um, so thank you as you're patient with me uh, over that. But I'm still, you know, moving right along. Uh, this weekend, I am taking off as much as possible. The long Memorial Day weekend. Starting tomorrow afternoon, I'll work in the morning some. Tomorrow afternoon, and then uh, probably till sometime on Tuesday or Wednesday morning. I will probably work tiny little bits within there, but um, I will have a lot of family over and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to pre-film a couple videos. They won't be marketplace videos, but I'll try to pre-film a couple videos that I can post during that time. If not, know I am well and happy and with my family and I hope you are as well. So uh, that's enough of that. Let's get into these. So here's some more I found for you guys. Oregon, Oregon Trail and the Days of 49. Authentic recipes from the Gold Camps and the Pioneer West. And I thought would be great with like the cooking journal. It actually does like stand up so you could like put it in your, your kitchen. But that's not why I bought it. It has, I love perforated. So when you pull it out, you have that perforated edge. And then you have all of these recipes and little stories. In the Goldfields, Pennsylvania, Scrapple, uh, pork chops, um pan broiled steak, beef stew. There's a lot of them in here. There's 65 cards. So there are pages, probably 30 something cards. So there's that one. And then here's a little golden guide mammals. I adore this one. It's vintage 1955. But what I love so much about it is all these, look at the raccoon. And these would pair so well with Edith Holden pages. Look at the foxes. They would pair with children's books nature i love these chipmunks i have this book and so when i picked i found another one i picked it up for you guys um 
And if you want more of these old ones, see, I, ha I charge quite a bit for them. I have to pay more for them as well because they're vintage. They're not being made anymore. So purchase them quickly if you like them. And that tells me I need to buy more than one when I see them because sometimes I can find a couple. So I also got you butterflies and moths. I have this one. I love this one. This one was originally 62, but this was reprinted in 77. This one is so pretty. I made moth snippets, uh, fussy cutting out these moths. They're so fun to fussy cut out. This paper is luxurious, so beautiful. I mean, it's hard to choose which one you want to cut out or use because the other side is so beautiful as well, which is why sometimes I just like to take the page out and tuck it in a tuck spot so that you can see both sides and then the owner of the journal can choose what they want to use. So there's butterflies and moths. And then I found seashells of the world. I thought you guys would like this. This is a 62. We're going into the summer. And so people are going to be going to the beach and thinking about the beach and mermaids and all that kind of stuff, right? So I thought these would be great for your beach journals and ocean journals and planners or whatever. So there's that gorgeous one. And then I found a big one. Look at this one. A Guide to Field Identification, Seashells of North America. This one is a treasure. Look at that. And it's, I mean, here's the size difference. Like that. So I was really happy to find this one. Even though I paid more for these than I typically pay for used books, I think it's worth it. This is 1968. And then look at how cute this Classic Recipes Quaker Oats is. I loved it. I love spiral pages because when you rip it out you have that extra texture quaker's best oatmeal muffins blueberry ginger muffin tops caramel nut sticky biscuits how great is this for recipe journals they are so cute so um and then on the back you have a metric conversion chart really cute this could even be the cover of an adorable journal like you could uh, glue it onto a cover or something like that or make a like a writing book this is really thick you can make a writing board for the journal as well. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching this video and for supporting the marketplace and me. And I just love each and every one of you so much. If you have not joined my Facebook group, Nevermore Creations, Junk Journals and Friends, I would love to have you. I'm trying to post there daily. I'm trying to post links to um, a lot of digitals and then also physical products that I think that you guys would like from Amazon or other places. Um, I try to do that daily as well as sales from my shop and there's places you can post your works, post your things for sale. The only rule in my group, there's only one rule and that is respect of each other. And besides that, you can post what you want, do what you want. Um, I've had about zero trouble on my group, such a wonderful group of ladies and crafters. So please join us. I would love that. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. I'll see you all in the next video.